some white person took a look around at some point, presumably some white person, and say, you know what? I'm looking at all these people moving around here, doing this and doing that. I'm going to come up with a system where I can dominate them. Everybody that I classify as non-white and have them jumping through hoops at my command, I'm going to come up with a system that does that. Apparently, somebody did that because the evidence is here. Mm -hmm. Somebody thought of a system called racism. And that somebody put it into operation, and it took off like a prairie fire. I mean, in record time, became <laughs> the most powerful system of politics and religion. There's no religion stronger than the religion of white supremacy that the world has ever seen. And that's what we're experiencing right now. Now, how it all evolved and in the details, and the first person who got the idea is argumentative. But I don't argue about that. I just simply say, somebody did it, because that's what we're looking at. Somebody did it. Somebody set it up. Or we wouldn't be having this conversation here in 2013 right now mm -hmm. about, you know, we need this, we need that, somebody ought to do something about this, somebody ought to do something about that. If you do not understand white supremacy, which is racism, what it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you, only confuse you, only confuse you. Neely Fuller, who wrote the uh, textbook for victims of racism a number of years ago, in, 19, in the late mid-70s, he used to say in the system, because he was the first person to talk about racism as a system, and he said that as the system of racism and white supremacy moves on, the system is going to have black men wearing dresses. Now, to hear that in the 70s, people said, oh, this is way out. And here we are. You see, there's some black pediatricians who are saying we are developing epidemic levels of the effeminization of young black males. Well, I say the pants hanging it, sagging down, is just a subconscious invitation for homosexuality. You see, it's revealing the buttocks. See, so the pants are getting lower and lower and lower. The next step is to step out of the pants altogether. And so you step out of the pants, you're going to put on a dress. The effeminization is an essential ingredient of white genetic survival. And the only thing that can prevent it is black people becoming conscious or becoming determined that this is not going to happen to them because if the black men are destroyed, then the black people are gone and we have a state of genocide. Now some people have said they've seen some cartoons of my work uh, on the internet that have been presented and that uh, it's it, pretty well embellishes what I have been trying to say in my textbooks. And uh, to the extent that it does that, well, that has been, from what I understand, some people reported to me a plus, because they didn't understand what I had written very well, but when they saw those cartoons that just repeated what I was saying, and attaching my name to it, and uh, came right out of the book, the material did, uh, they say that they better understood it. And I can understand that because people are kind of visual, particularly in the year 2021 now, uh, more visual than ever.